Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. In the last episode, we, uh, fighted a giganto, basically just a giant dude, uh, named Kongol, uh, beat him, and then figured out we are a dragoon, which, uh, basically are the rulers of dragons, and now we are set out, uh, to, de to defeat the dragon with, um, our new companion, uh, Rose, who was the, uh, lady that saved us in the very beginning of the game. And then we headed over to the, um... I think it's the seventh or something like that, uh, Knighthood's Fort, and found basically everybody dead except for the one, the people that, who uh, got killed while we were here. Um, as we did, went through a wave of battles uh, fighting uh, Sandor troops, and then we fought the commander, and then we got a Stardust in the last episode, and let's continue basically. All right, so I come over here and let's get all these uh, boxes. So we just got basically got a couple. Let's run out of here real quick. Run around right around here and grab this, which is a lance, which is a weapon for Lavitz, if I am correct. Um, armored, my bad. Uh, let's see here. Yep, it is his weapon. Okay, so let's see what... Actually, my bad. Um, so what do we want to equip? We want to equip... Let's see, yeah, it's 34. Um, we're going to put... Uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see here. We're going to equip the uh, power wrist to uh, him and uh, put the knight shield on... Er, actually, we're going to keep the... Uh, I'm trying to think here. We're going to put the War God's Amulet on her, our armlet. Amulet. I actually had it right the first time. And put the Knight, um, knight Shield on her. So everything's squared away. Um, and then, yeah. That's it. So we're going to run back inside. And get the uh, other item and talk to the dead dude. Well, almost dead. Hang on. We beat the Sandoras. Uh, that's the tenth knighthood, I guess. Uh, uh, Sir Lavitz. Watch out for the dragon's breath. Th this is the War God's amulet. So we got another War God's amulet. We will wreck, um, wreak your vengeance upon them. Um, there are no injuries. Is that poison? So we're gonna keep jumping over here and grab the spirit potion. Let's see what it says. There's no uh, ally or enemy for the dead. Please rest in peace. He looks the same age as me. All right. So that's all we have for. Uh, I guess it's the tenth. Does it tell us anywhere down like at the bottom or anything where we're at? Okay. Well, I guess we're... Well, we are in the marshland. I knew that. But it doesn't tell us exactly where we're at, so... I'm guessing it may be in the 10th, um... This may be the 10th Knighthood's fort, fort. Um... And we'll check real quick. Um, the armed... Just another war gods, yeah. Alright. And... List... So we're going to sort this stuff real quick. Because I, I, I'm a very organized person. Um, um, computer and game wise. Like if I can organize my enemy, or my, um, like items or f for this one, uh, <clears throat> items and, uh, weapons and stuff like that. And for Final Fantasy VII, the materia and all that kind of stuff, I always want it to be organized because it just bugs me when it's not. Because then I can't find, uh, what exactly I want, so. Uh, let's attack this merman. 34, that's actually pretty damn good. Oh, I missed. Oh, well. Oh, well. Whoop, smack. And what is he going to use? This is actually pretty deadly towards us right now. It does freaking massive damage. So we're going to heal. We're going to use guard. And let, uh... 
Rose kill him. Alright. We got 668 or 69 gold or something like that. Alright, come on. I think there's our treasure over here or a box. Nothing. No, there's nothing over here. Alright, so we're gonna run and get into another battle. Oh well. Beat some more mermen real quick. Harpoon. And he's gonna use that freaking thing right there. Wow, 60 damage, that's ridiculous. That is, that is massively ridiculous. Double slash, please don't attack him again. Or him, that's not good either. Oh well, we'll just kill it real quick. We got a spear. Yeah, it's an item we can sell. That's what um, I think his original one is. Spear, and we just got a lance. Which lance is better, of course. So we're going to check, and we're going to heal real quick, actually. Oh, man. So we'll just heal them. Gives us one more left. Dang. That's ridiculous. Um, I don't want to go back in there. I want to check the additions real quick. Alright, so he's a level 4 now, level 3, and she's still level 1. Alright, just checking to see if we can move it over to Volcano. Or not. Alright, so you want to run down here, and now go this way. And we missed. Wow, that sucks. That was good. That's what we wanted. Out another battle. Come on. I didn't realize that Rose was uh, level 8 until right now. So yeah, she's a uh, level ahead of us, but that's okay. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we want to get on this. Move down. Move down. Get off the boat. Alright, because I want to get all the little treasures and everything. Body purifier, we're going to get into another battle. There we go. I knew it was coming. We almost, almost made it. Just going to kill that uh, merman in the back real quick. Because he's the one that gives us trouble because he's the one that uses the uh, ice magic against us. Which is not healthy for us. Whoop, smack. I don't really understand, like, why they didn't, uh... Use like voice acting and stuff like that if they're gonna if they could make it where uh because somebody had to do the whole whip smack like double slash and 
all that kind of stuff, like all the additions and all that. I don't, I don't understand why they didn't just make it a full-on voice acted game. Like that would have been so much better. But I mean, the first Final Fantasy to get voice acting uh, was Ten, and a lot of people actually didn't like Ten, and I really don't understand that. I mean. Uh, that's probably, if you're going to start out playing Final Fantasy, it's probably the one you want to start out with, because for me, um, at least, it was the easiest uh, to play. Uh, but, I just, I don't know, like, whoa, where are we going? I have no clue where we went. Oh, hey, there's other stuff. That's cool. I didn't even know this was over here. Magic Stone of Signet. Let's check that out. We're going to get into battle anyway, so might as well check it out first. Oh, blocks enemies move for three turns. Hmm, not bad. Stun. And then another battle. Let's get rid of this merman real quick. Sea Dragon. I really do like how they made it where you can actually, like, pronounce the, uh, most of the stuff in the game. Like, I have problems with some of the, uh, uh, some of the towns, but that's about it. Like, everything else I'm pretty good on. Come on, quit hit me. There we go, harpoon it. And let's whip smack it real quick. Whip smack. Do not attack him again. Oh my god. It killed him, didn't he? Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, we have three left. Wow, that's retarded. Alright, so we'll guard real quick. And then we'll... Actually, that's what we're going to do. is We're just going to guard until we can get um, full health. Um, I'll be right back so it doesn't take up that much time of the uh, recording. Alright, so that, that's enough. Just enough to get him up to a... Uh, in the white. That's all I needed. <clears throat> just because we only have one more um, potion left, so I'm actually probably going to be doing that um, peri periodically throughout the uh, recordings. Uh, you'll probably notice that I'll pause the video just to sit there and use guard a bunch of times. Uh, just because I don't want to waste that much air time on it. But at the same time, I don't want to die, so it's better to do that than to not... So we're surfing back, or riding back, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna this time we're gonna go back up and get off the boat. Move up. Get off the boat. And run around and get into another battle, of course. Alligators. I wonder what they're actually called. Crocodile. Okay. You know, I I really honestly like don't know the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. I have no clue. And apparently, crocodiles in this game uh shoot skulls out of their mouth. Who would have known? That was actually pretty weird. <laughs> I don't ever remember fighting any of these. That's why. Sixteen, come on. I'm gonna do better than that. Like that. Twenty one. Yeah. Hit it for twenty one. Yeah, suck it. Come on. There we go. Alright. So we got a burnout. Not really 
needed, but why not? So we're going to ride the boat up. And move back to the right. Get off the boat and walk. So that's all the weight. Hmm. There's got to be another way. Because we're missing one of them. Oh, get off the boat. Ha, huh, didn't realize that one. Oh, man. Battle after battle after battle. But we will win. It's getting pretty good, though. I mean, we're hitting um, at least these enemies right here. Which I have no clue how to say their name. Uh, but we're hitting in it one hit killing them so we're doing pretty good nine damage not not that bad 34 that's more like it and let's see how much she is she is 26 see that that's kinda weird cuz she's a higher level but she has lower health and she has um she hits for lower it's kinda weird but oh well another spirit cell sweet always use uh, junk uh, items to sell. Might as well. Alright, let's see what's here. Let's see if it's even important. It's spirit potion. Not really. But oh well. Alright, now we move back to the right. Come on. Can we make it? Yeek! I forgot this happened. Well, Trunk Shana? I... I'm f fine. My foot's stuck in the mud, that's all. See? Oh, no. Did you twist your ankle? It's nothing. You can't stand up, can you? Come on, I'll give you a piggyback ride. But it's embarrassing. What are you talking about? I'm just, I used to give you piggyback rides when you were little. Remember? Uh-huh. Thanks. So yeah, <laughs> she twisted her ankle, and now we're gonna give her a pity back. I'm such trouble, aren't I? I don't think so. I guess I should have stayed in hoax. Are you serious? No, it's not so. I guess I had a bit of a weak moment. You know, you know what? I have more confidence now. I can fight to help everyone. I'm not a drag on others, but I still cannot fight like Rose. Shauna, you have something only you can do, right? You don't need to pretend to be strong. Besides, you can rely on me more, like in the old days. Dar, is Shauna alright? I'm okay now. Back to where we were at. Haha. <laughs> I kind of always wondered how you got those, uh... Uh, those treasure boxes. I never never really did anything about it. Because when I play through it, I don't really always go and get every little thing. I just kind of like, go get what I need. The pain is gone. Let's go, everybody. Alright. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Oh, yeah. That is my, uh, my, um, my Kool-Aid Man impression. Oh yeah. I I think I sound pretty dang good. I think that's a pretty good impression. Sorry, but I have no clue where the hell it came from. I just kind of thought about it. Jump, jump. Whoa! Holy crap! What is that? It's is that an eruption of the volcano? No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell's that? It looks like a firebird thingy. That is firebird. It's bad time showing up now. We still have to deal with the dragon. Can we just let it go? It's up to him. He saw us run! <laughs> oh no! Yep, 
So we have to fight a firebird. Not now, though. We'll fight it later. It seems we lost him. Good, let's move on. Alright. I did notice how uh, this, uh, the Legend of Dragoon kind of adopted the uh, Final Fantasy thing of, uh, Final Fantasy 7 at least, um, thing. Of when um, all the party is out and like they're all talking. How they've kind of all come back in. Uh, walk into like the main character and then we kind of continue. Like, they kind of like join him as one or whatever. Thought that I actually liked that when I was uh, little playing that. I was like, where'd they go? Because I, I was when I first played this. I mean, this came out um, or well, Final Fantasy VII. I'm thinking it came out in like '96 or something like that. And um, I mean, I was born in '94, so when I first played it, I was real little. So I mean, I didn't know any better. But uh, and I mean, I didn't even play it when it first came out. I think I didn't play it until like until I was at least six or seven. So I didn't really like, cause I I always had the like the the Nintendo and Mario and everything like that, but I was never really big into gaming or like trying to actually make something of it or do anything. I just kind of like, oh, I play this when I get bored, and then I uh, I remember I um, popped in the uh, Final Fantasy VII because uh, I think my mom's boyfriend had uh, bought in it, and uh, well, let's go this way. I don't know which way to go, so we'll go this way. Um. I uh, had it, and we popped it in, and I started to play, and I was just amazed, and I, I sat there and played it, played it, and played it, and, like, I, I was, I, I started to get to the point uh, where I was doing bad in school because of that, I mean, not blaming it on gaming or anything like that, or blaming it on the game, just that, like, I I was so little to the point where I was just kind of, like, I didn't even care, like, I all I was thinking about throughout the game, or throughout the day of, like, in class and everything like that, was oh my god I gotta get home I gotta play the game I gotta play that game and like it kind of just grew on me to the fact where like I mean if you go watch the let's play I mean I, I I know that game like the back of my hand for the most part there's only a couple things that I don't really know and uh, for for instance how to get the um, Alexander uh, summoning um, that took me a little bit I had to do a little bit of research on that because I really never did get that when I was little because it's not really essential I mean it's a holy uh, elemented uh, summon, but I don't know, I just never really cared. Like, I got the best summoning that there was, uh, which is uh, Knights of Round. So, I mean, hey, I didn't care. I didn't need the, uh, I didn't need the um, Alexander or anything like that. So I was like, well, forget that. I never needed it. But then when I started to do the Let's Play, I was like, okay, well, I need to get everything that I can in a certain amount of time. And it, it honestly sucks because of how much time, like, like, yeah, some people, like, I've had people, like, um, come to me at, like, school and stuff like that that watch the, watch the Let's Plays and stuff like that, and they're like, dude, uh, you should make the, uh, um, make them shorter, make them, like, 15 minutes, um, stuff like that, you'll get more views, and I'm just like, I, I've, I've thought about doing that, because I started doing that when I first started the Let's Play, uh, for Final Fantasy VII, at least, I was doing, like, 15 minutes, but it's just, you don't get anything done in those 15 minutes just because of how long the game is, so I just, like, well, if people don't want to watch it because it's so long, then oh well. I mean, I, I know a couple of YouTubers who uh, do uh, half-hour uh, vids for their uh, their Let's Plays and stuff like that. and They're doing perfectly fine. It's just I'm not getting as much recognition as I would like, of course. But, uh, I mean, that's still something that I can work on. Uh, there's a little guy over there. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. But, yeah, just pointed that out. All right, so we're gonna save. I think there's a boss battle actually coming up right now. Dang it! I'm so like I said, I'm always I'm so used to the Final Fantasy VII uh, that I uh, I keep I always press circle for the confirm button. And plus, I do what I usually do is I'll play like I'll, I'll do two recordings of Final Fantasy VII and then I'll do two recordings of The Legend of Dragoon because of how small my um hard my hard drive is. I can't really do much more than that, so. Um, but ah, I always, I'm always clicking circle thinking it's freaking the confirm button, because that's what it is in Final Fantasy VII, of course. Uh, alright, so we have to skip across the lava, basically, and hope to God we don't get touched by one of those, uh, touched by one of those, like, things that are jumping out of the...
What is this feeling? It, it's calling me. Shauna, where are you going? Um, okay. So let's go find out what the hell's calling her, apparently. Oh, I remember this. You were being called by this? I don't know. When I came here, I didn't hear a voice anymore. Is that alive? Looks like a stone statue. Don't go near it. I feel something's wrong. Listen to Shauna. The Virage is still alive. This Virage is still alive. Virage? Virage? I'm gonna call it Virage. You don't know about it? Okay, I'll explain it to you. You know about the Dragon Campaign, right? The Wingleys were out, uh, were outnumbered, so they used to call this. Um, they you so they use this creature called Virage as their triumph card in the war, just as humans use dragons. Wingly is Virage. So, I thought the dragon campaign was over a thousand, or eleven thousand years ago. How could this thing still be alive? Holy crap. I would say it's due to the hatred of the humans, or the vendetta against the dragoons. Us, against us dragoons. We gotta settle this. Or let's run. <laughs> He's like, um, or we could run. That might be a good idea. So, yeah, this is a boss battle. Dun, dun, dun. We are fighting the Virage. Well, one of them. I think we fight, like, we have three or four of them or something throughout the whole game. I think one every disc or something like that. I don't know. They're not really that hard. I don't think they are, at least. At least I don't remember. Um, I have no clue. I think, I don't remember how you kill this thing. Um, let's see here. What we're going to do is we're going to use Dragoon, and we're going to use our, uh, anal drain or whatever. <laughs> our astral drain. I just, ah, uh, that, that, that bugs me. Like, why would you name a magic attack, um, anal drain, or, <laughs> my bad, astral drain? Like, it's, it's just, it's funny, because, like, if it wasn't, like, like, just how the, um, the moves even used makes it even worse, uh, just because you, you know exactly where it's coming from, like, I mean, you guys have seen it before if you watched the, uh, I think the last episode of the Let's Play, uh, she basically throws a sword and then sucks, or the sword uh, sucks the life out of the the enemy, and then she basically pisses on us, or craps on us, whatever you want, farts, whatever, and then it kills us. <laughs> so we get healed by fart, basically. Um, I mean, I don't even know. It's just, like, it's, it's funny, I think. So yeah, does 78 damage to us, or to him, and gives us 26 apiece, which I mean is not a lot, but it is still pretty a decent amount, um, especially since we're kind of low level still. I mean, we're not high level, but we're not necessarily low either. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna use our darts dragoon, and we're gonna use fire shot against the body. Actually, I think I'm gonna use it against the head, because I, I don't remember. Like, there's one. I know that you can attack one of them. Um, and just, as long as you kill that, you'll be fine. It'll kill the, uh, it'll kill the, uh, the Virage completely. But I, I, I had no clue if it's the head or the body or what. So I'm just gonna, I think, I'm thinking it's the body. But, I mean, because you can't really do without the head. Because I, I know if you attack the, uh, arm, um, and you, you can destroy the arm pretty quickly, quickly, but it'll just come back. So there's not really a point in it. I mean, unless it starts attacking us really, really, like, high level, or, um, like, with a lot of, uh, points, then I'm not going to even bother, uh, at, like, attacking the arm. And if so, I'll just use, um, Lavitz to attack the arm and have them attack, um, have Rose attack the body and have, uh, Dart attack the, uh, head. Um, but for now, I'm just going to have him attack the head. Narpoon! 41 damage. See, that's even better damage than the, uh, Dragoon did. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, sorry about that. My bad. That was not supposed to happen. Okay, so it does 30 damage. That's pretty dang good. 
Um, so yeah. Wow. Alrighty here. Uh, we're gonna use the uh, last killing potion we have, actually, because I really don't want to die. So we're gonna have Lavitz attack the uh, arm, and we'll have Dart attack the head, and I. Uh, Rose will attack the body. Or I guess not. I guess we'll have Rose attack the uh, arm. Whichever. It doesn't bother. It doesn't matter. As long as uh doesn't die. 47 damage. Wow. Alright here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoop. Smack. Actually we'll... I'll have them all attack the uh, arm. That should be dead. Yep, there we go. But I know it can come back, so. Wow, that's not good. 96. Alright, let's attack the head. I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep attacking the head, because I don't want to die. And sometimes it's actually not bad to let your characters die, um, just for the fact that you still get, um, uh, when you use the, uh, a I think it's Angel's Prayer is the item that it's called in here, um, when you use the Angel's Sorry about that, my uh, video recording program cut off again saying that, hey, you are um, out of disk space, so let's finish this real quick. <clears throat> so yeah, the Mirage is dead. Virage is dead, my bad. Virage. Virage. Rose! Rose, run! She's like, I'm a thug. I'm just going to walk away. I don't understand why they would have to run, though. I mean, it's dead. It's sinking. Well, I guess not, because it was laying in there before, too. Sweet. Level 8. Level 9. Level 7. Woohoo! Sweet. Come on. Says I think like I had like 800 more megabytes on my uh, on my computer, so gotta make sure I get this done. I'm just gonna run back to the save point. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Run. Almost. Come on. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so. So we're going to use the sprite on him. Oh, crap. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Lavitz out. And put Shauna in for now. Uh, just because we don't have any um, way of healing him right now. And, unless we're just going to sit there and... Uh, I. 
go in and out of battle, or um, in battle and just guard the whole time, which I don't really want to do right now. Um, so we'll just use Shauna for the next little bit until we can get some uh, potions or being able to save or something like that. So, uh, yeah. That's the end of this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Dragoons. Stay tuned next time to uh, see us continue on with our quest to defeat the uh, Green Tusk Dragon. I think that's the name of the dragon. Yeah. Um, continue on to go kill that. And um, actually, we think in the next episode, we probably will end up fighting the uh, Firebird. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.